My name is Todd Messick. I shape surfboards for Art in Motion. Uh, we've come down to Cardiff today to try out some of the boards and uh, let a few people try them out as well. Uh, right now we're pushing the palindrome. This is a design we came up with. It's not, it's not that it's never been done, but we're doing it in a way that has never been done. Uh, this board uh, has two different directions. It can be surfed in front or back. There is no front or back. They're both front or back, I guess. This one's a 10-2. It's got about a 16 inch nose right around a 19 inch tail and what that does it just allows a completely different hydro, hydrodynamic principle than all other gliders that are out there today. So it's a far cry from a, even a double ender. Wide point goes back so as you gain speed and as you start to gain momentum and in trim it starts to maneuver and it does different dynamic things that some of the other uh, narrower tail boards do not do. So. I'm on the verge of trying to push this thing and I'd like to get it into some big wave riders hands to see if they couldn't take over on something, if I dare say it, something like Jaws or something a little bit more, perhaps the left at Jaws. I don't know that it would handle something going so top to bottom, but more of the rolling waves, the Portugal wave, the stuff that you see in France, some of those slow rollers, those open ocean. I think that we just finished an 11-2 and if things are tapped properly I would love to be able to surf an open ocean wave with these kinds of vessels so the idea is you could maneuver them much better at higher speeds There's, they're very flat I'm putting no rocker in them whatsoever so that they gain stability in higher speed uh, a lot of people are a little scared of them a lot of people get freaked out just having a fin on the front of their nose they think that uh, it's gonna cause some kind of an effect and I don't know what but it's been explained to me that the uh, the air is trapped in the in the front end and it cannot escape. Therefore, the water can't go in and penetrate. So, um, it's an allude. It's a psychological thing, from what I gather or what I've been told. Um, doesn't seem to affect the board one way or the other. If you want to see more about the pigs, the extreme pigs, the dream machines, or the palindromes, please go on to our uh, please go to Art and Motion Designs on Facebook or check us out Art and Art and Motion Designs.com. Peace.